nervous? A little. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jessa Dillo Crisp. I'm originally from Canada and I never say A. A. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! So, um, we could get into your story now. Cool. So I was born into a family that was not a safe family. It started with sexual abuse, and then it turned into then child pornography, and then that was when the sex trafficking started. I was told that all I was good for was to be a little prostitute. My nickname was Little P. Even as an adult, I also had pornography taken and was being trafficked as an adult. I think one of the hardest things for me to um, just process is sorry um so like being in a cage and um, being on sets and having to do things that I can't even believe I did um, having guns pointed at me and people telling me that if I didn't um, keep doing what they told me to do that I would be shot. I was being raped, but I had a smile on my face. I had to act like I enjoyed it. And I can say that um, child pornography as well as adult pornography is directly tied to human trafficking. Um, I didn't escape until I was 21, so this continued until basically just before I escaped. I think it was in 2010, I received notification that my pornography was found on the internet. And talking to my investigators, talking to my officers and detectives, um, just finding the listings where they were um, finding that and then finding out that the IP addresses were changing and realizing that even though I am physically free, my imaging is still being sold and in many ways even um, when I let my mind go there, I feel like I'm being raped um, and exploited still because they're still making money off of my pain, my trauma, and my humiliation. I still get scared that some of my um, individuals who have viewed my pornography will recognize me, but as the years have gone on, that's gotten less and less, and I feel like I can walk around with much more confidence, and that does not need to define who I am today. So John was a huge part in teaching me what real love was supposed to be and is, and it's possible to experience real love. My goal is to help people who have been through horrific stuff and are wanting to take steps into this big world that they are starting to engage with for the first time. Some of the things that I've learned about love is it is kind, it is compassionate, it's caring. It's just pretty amazing like how relationships can hurt you but also how relationships can heal you.